Good afternoon, everybody. It's Jane from Surface Anthology and Chalk Mercantile. How are you guys? Happy Monday. <laughs> I am going to be painting this little jewelry box that I started last week. And I show you guys how I prep my jewelry box. We learned about Pacific Cloth. Um, which would be great if you're redoing these jewelry boxes and you want to line the draws with something that's going to keep, especially sterling silver jewelry, from tarnishing. And a, a watcher suggested that. Now I'm totally forgetting um, oh, her name. And I was so excited about the Pacific Cloth. There's my link. I'm texting my text group people so they know that I am on. Okay, there it goes. So I wanted to show you, this is what I do with my um, hardware. I just throw it in like, I every time I go to Goodwill, I am buying these little, this is by Fire King, these little custard cups. Good morning, Barb, how are you? Barb, did you get the um, PDF? for the fancy French inspired chalkboard workshop. Could I have picked a longer name? Everybody, that's my new workshop. That's actually gonna be live August 23, 24, 25. Don't worry if you can't make it because you get lifetime access to the replay. And and Barb is a new member of my, my membership. So if you're wanting to dig deeper into um, paint techniques, all kinds of cool stuff. Join the Surface Anthology membership. But Barb, I'm so glad you're joining me today. So this is how I keep, I, I collect these by the way. It's where I put paint, you know, when I'm mixing paint, you'll see me using them all the time, these little um, custard cups. The color I picked, this is um, Amy Howard at Home One Step. And it's called Parisian Gray. I love this color. It's a really pale, almost like a mushroom color gray. And I love it. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm using my one inch brush because we're doing a little um, jewelry box. I even have some smaller brushes in case I need them. Oh, Barb got her PDF. Great. I'm so glad, Barb. That's wonderful. All right. This paint by the way this is a chalk based paint that has a built in top coat it still dries like super matte you know it it is really matte um but it does have that built in top coat and this was my first paint line amy howard at home years ago when i opened my shop and i was painting furniture and it really doesn't need a top coat it 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 was indestructible. The only big difference I've seen with this paint is that it doesn't have as much, um, you can't really call it open time. That's when the paint is wet, but when it dries, it cures really hard and it's not as easily like react. You can't reactivate it as easily as a pure clay or chalk based paint. Um, but I love it. Hey, Joyce, good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Um, but I love it. I love this paint. So I'm just going to open this up. And it's just a really nice color. Give it a stir. These little sample pots um, of paint are great for trying out a paint and for... Um, there's my other. For doing small projects like this one, they're perfect. And I'm just gonna pour out a little of this paint. I don't think I'm gonna need a lot. Close that up. And then, I got my water. Bring that over here. I'm just gonna start painting. Now I clean this with baby wipes and hopefully nothing's gonna bleed. Um, if this piece starts to bleed, 
I'm going to stop and use my favorite, which if you've been following me for a while, you know is Zinsser Bullseye Shellac. I love it. So here I go. And this paint has great coverage. Now, if you're picky, and again, if this was going to be in my shop to sell, I would tape off the edges so that you don't get, um, you don't have a messy kind of edge there. Just treat this like a full-size piece of furniture. Oh, and there goes my house phone, which I forgot to mute. Do any of you pick up your phones? I'm telling you, I feel like even the house phone, it's all, um, oops, there's some lint. It's all spam calls. Oh, and Barb is asking, what was the name of this paint? So Barb, this is Amy Howard at Home One Step Paint. And the reason she calls it One Step, because you still have to, you know, do a couple of coats. It covers really well though, is that you don't have to wax, you don't have to seal it. So it has a built-in top coat, which is nice if you're not doing any kind of like super fancy um, finish. You could still do some really cool finishes, but I'm really referring to like wet distressing, that kind of thing. It makes a great base for milk paint. Let me just uh, get that little edge. All right, look at the difference, right? This is gonna have a totally, totally different look. All right, don't futz around like I am right now. Because when it starts to dry, my paint is still wet, you'll start to get pulling and dragging and it will be a mess. So try to, try to resist because I'm going to be doing two coats on this anyway. So I shouldn't really be worried. So Barb, hey Jeannie, how are you? Good morning, thanks for joining. So now Barb, in the, in the workshop that I'm teaching, it's all, I use all chalk paints. There's no milk paint in there, um, but we're not gonna be using a chalk paint like this. I want people to get just a pure, and everybody has, anybody that's painting furniture, almost. Well, not anybody, almost everybody I know uses some kind of either chalk paint or clay-based paint. And those are what we're going to be using or I would like people to use because we're gonna be manipulating that paint finish. Ugh, I'm making a mess. See, I really should have just taped these off because I can't stand. I leave the sides of drawers unpainted. I have this, I have this theory that um, they need to breathe, that the, that the wood needs to breathe. 
So, and it needs to fit inside of the cabinet, you know, of the, of the dresser or wherever. Um, so I don't paint the backs unless the piece is going to be seen. All right. So there we go. Now, this is most definitely going to take two coats. Let me do the top so you can see. Right, there's our top. And I cleaned this with, like I said, a baby wipe. but isn't that a great color? I know, you know, everybody kind of freaks out about um, gray, right? We're all addicted to gray, <laughs> grays and whites, but I'm gonna do something kind of fancy with the hardware. I did think about painting this in a beautiful red, and I might do another one. I collect these wooden jewelry boxes, you guys. So um, I may do that or like a red orange for fall. But it, when I was over in my little paint collection, I saw Parisian gray and I'm like, oh, I love that color. I forgot how much I love that color. So that's what I pulled out. I don't know what my dog, one of my dogs is barking. There could be a bear out there. I live in the woods, you guys. <laughs> and she's been barking. I went down before I came, you know, got on live. And I don't know what it is. All right. Now, look at that, right? Nice. Joyce. Joyce, you're, you can't find many jewelry boxes? Joyce, what part of the country are you in? Let me know. I, by the way, I'm going to run over and grab a magazine because I have to show you guys something. I'm going to put this aside. I'm not going to make you guys watch me um, paint that jewelry box, but I have to show you something. All right, so as you know, my favorite Martha Stewart is no longer being published, Martha Stewart Living, but this is my second favorite. And if I had to put them in line like that, which I hate doing, but I love Milieu. Um, it's actually a very different type of magazine, but I had to show you guys Okay, hey, Joyce is in South Carolina, upstate in Greenville. So are there, are there Goodwills or ReStores? Um, I love the old junk shops, you know, that I would go in with my aunts when I was a kid. Because I find these jewelry boxes every time I go to Goodwill in a town next to me, there's just like three jewelry boxes. You know, it's like everybody's giving up these wood jewelry boxes. You guys, look at the front cover of, Mil of Milieu and look at this chair, right? This is a painted chair. Beautiful, right? And it's not even a fancy finish. It's a similar color, maybe a little more yellow in it um, as it appears, you know, in, on this printed cover. And remember I told you about, I've talked about... Um, choosing colors, you know, from a magazine. Um, but look at how beautiful this chair is. It's just a simple painted finish, very, very lightly distressed. 
I feel like this is not the original paint finish because the fronts in this, on this antique chair would have been worn away, right? Goodwill, but I don't find anything. You found a cigar box. Those are cool. I love cigar boxes. Um, keep going, Joyce, because there might be, find out from them when they, you know, when they put that stuff out, because sometimes they have days, and ask them, do you get any jewelry box, wooden jewelry boxes? Look at all these painted, um, they're dressers used as vanities. I have a feeling these are reproductions, right? All painted, right? All these painted. And this is very similar to the type of finishes that I love to teach, like in the membership. But this um, magazine, right? This month, look at that green painted server, I guess I would call that. Isn't that beautiful? That definitely looks like milk paint to me, which I love. Like that's the, that is the paint to use when you want to really create an antique finish. But this whole magazine is painted furniture this month. I, I was going through it and I'm like, I have got to show people because we all, sometimes you get a little, you know, we're online and we go to Pinterest and we see a lot of painted furniture um, and it all kind of, it's always vignetted, always the same. So it, it kind of has created, there's this, its own little milieu of that, you know, Pinterest look. But when you look at a, a real mainstream design magazine like this, and you see all this painted furniture. Look at that one with different colors. You know they're being influenced, right? Because I didn't see this much a few years ago. They're checking out Pinterest too, but doing their own spin on it. Look at this. And green is really big. How breathtaking, right? Wasn't Jeannie, wasn't the, the green stunning? And look at this one. You, that look is is casein paint, you know, uh, milk paint, which is casein paint. That is how you get that look. But this magazine, I just love it. I look through here when I'm looking for inspiration and in colors. Um, look at these chairs. These chairs, it looks like they scraped. They're antique chairs, and it almost looks like the paint finish was scraped away. And you'll see a lot of that. Oh, I'm getting my mixing thing. Um, you'll see that they 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 scrape the paint finish to expose the original. And I wonder if it's just a technique. Um, but there was more in here. It, this is a really, really nice month for sure. I have to show you guys. Now, look at this painted metal bird cage. Bright color, really distressed. Why not, right? This one is super colorful. I just love it. Look at that red shelf, right? With all that beautiful pottery. So this is a great way, get your favorite magazine Oh my God, these rooms are amazing. Um, get your favorite magazine and go through it and look for inspiration. I mean, I don't know that I'll ever have a home like any of these, but they're, it's not like they're not doable. Look at this one. It's just basically white, blue, and tones of wood. And look at the Swedish painted chair in the back. This dresser, you can absolutely go to Restore pick up a really simple dresser and create that paint finish. And if you don't know how to create it, I could teach you how to create that paint finish. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, look at this red. Somebody told me um, or commented, I think this morning, 
that I asked everybody, is there a color that you love, a bright color, but you're afraid to use? And she said red. Look at red in this room. It's just breathtaking. So grab the um, your favorite. There was some other, I should have put little, oh, here are the dining room chairs that are on the cover. Those are just painted this kind of off-white and upholstered. It's no fancy finish at all. So don't get intimidated, you guys. Oh, I love this magazine. And if you like country living, which feels like a pamphlet, I think a lot of, um, there's, they're having a hard time getting advertisers in it. So magazines are just starting to um, disappear. I hope Country Living doesn't go. Look at this. Here's the green again. It's a green painted uh, kitchen, right? With the off-white island. Lots of blue. Joy said, my daddy built a rocker in 1939. <gasps> and I have it. Any suggestion for a colors? Oh, Joyce. So I can talk about color, and hopefully you'll paint it in like a milk paint or a natural paint, right? Um, I did one month in the, the membership, I did a um, Windsor chair in a really traditional milk paint finish, and I hope you people in the membership can check that out. Um, there are traditional colors for that, and Joyce, you have to think about where is your rocking chair going to live, right? Where are you going to put that rocking chair? And you're really going to be designing it within that space, right? So if it's a beautiful, you know, green room, um, you, can, you can keep it monochromatic and do it in a green color. You could go opposite on the color wheel and do a beautiful red. So there's a lot to talk about there. Well, I'll definitely do a live about picking color. Jeannie's saying, country living used to be one of my faves. Absolutely. I have gotten country living for years. Again, green, you guys. Green is super in. Um, I used to have a lot of green in my home. But look at these bright colors. Red, lots of pattern. I'm so glad. It's a relief from all the gray and white. Look at that beautiful green there. So, when you're, Joyce, when you're thinking about your rocking chair, honestly, grab your favorite magazine and, you know, if you need inspiration or a favorite piece of fabric, Maybe you could pull a color from that and look what other people are doing too. That's what I would suggest. Um, but this one is really, really cool. Support these magazines, you guys, or they're going to go the way of, of uh, Martha Stewart living because I'm shocked at how thin country living got for sure. All right, you guys, I am going to continue... Here is um, this color, which I love. This is Parisian Gray drying, right? And I'm definitely going to need a second coat. So I'm going to continue to paint the entire jewelry box today. I'm going to do two coats of the Parisian Gray. And again, that is the one step, the Amy Howard at Home one step paint. And I love, love, love this color. And tomorrow... Uh, not tomorrow. Probably, I'm probably going to be doing lives two days a week now um, because I've got that workshop coming up, my membership, which I'm so excited. We're, we're a small but happy group of people in there, but I'll be also recording um, workshops for that. So I'll be on here another day this week, but I'll send out a text alert. Um, oh, Joyce, you're absolutely welcome. But when I come on next... We're going to be talking about and redoing these little tiny handles. And look at how different. Here's the handle on this very, very orangey red wood, right? And here it is. Just going to sit it down on 
the um, Parisian gray and it's a really really different look it's already affected so I don't know if I'm gonna stick with the gold or if I might do something with some silver like keep it really cool oh Deborah you didn't get the notification oh you know what Deborah I am gonna look uh, in my community app that's what I use for my text group and make sure you're on there okay and if you're not I'll go over I think you're I'm watching me from YouTube I'll go over there and um, let you know what's going on all right you guys go support your favorite magazines go buy them you can get subscriptions for if they're really, really, really inexpensive, right? Country living, living is really inexpensive. And honestly, I think that these right now, and I, I might get also get House Beautiful, are the magazines I look at. And I look at them, you know, all the time, and I save them, and I use them for reference. But I love how different these two magazines are. Um, but I get equally great ideas from both of them. So, and Get Milieu, this is the fall issue. It is absolutely chock full of painted furniture. I, I was just amazed. Everywhere I looked, it was painted furniture. So, yay! All right, you guys, if you're interested in the fancy French inspired chalkboard, just go to my Surface Anthology page. I put up a million posts. If you're interested in the membership, just go to surfaceanthology.com and click on membership. It's just $23 a month and it will be open until August 28th. And that's when I'm going to close it and I'll reopen again um, in the fall or winter. All right. <gasps> Jeannie, Victoria. Yes, I get Victoria. Um, and I love it. I think I still get it. I hope that wasn't stopped. I have, because it wasn't monthly, right? I think it was, um, it might have been quarterly. I'm not sure, but that's another beautiful. Deborah, you are so welcome. Everybody have a wonderful day and also get over to your Goodwills.